We lost a chicken. And we lost two chickens. Okay, so here they are on my feet. Um, I've been playing around with them this morning, just trying to get the, the, the fit feeling right. You can see they're nicely on, they're not coming off my feet. Um, please excuse my, uh, my slightly gammy toe, that's uh, what happens when you run marathons. Um, and yeah, so they, they kind of lace up with this, I've got this lace in here that attaches, goes through the toe, and then you can kind of tighten uh, by pulling through at the sides, uh, and then tighten at the back with these, these little bungee cords here to pull um, and you can actually snip these I think uh, and shorten them but I've just kept them long for now in case I want to carry on playing around with the fit um, the other thing is that there's this knot here and I've seen that some people have the knot kind of much further down by their toes um, and this uh, it, the thong bit I guess you'd call it a bit straighter I feel like that didn't quite give me the right kind of lockdown the right fit so if I pull it up here, that feels a lot better for me. Um, I've also got really, I don't know if you can see, but I've got quite a high saddle bone. So um, that sometimes gives me issues in normal running shoes. Um, so I thought, well, you know, I don't want the knot kind of sat right on top of there like that, which I've seen some people wear it. Um, maybe I'll carry on playing around with it. But for now, actually, that feels like a really nice snug fit. Uh, and I guess it kind of feels like I'm not wearing anything, which is uh, what it should feel like. They're, they're super thin. Um, you can see, oh, we've got a sticker on there, so I can get that off. Um, super, super thin, so you can just feel everything through them. Does anyone have one? Yeah, okay, I'll get that in a minute. Um, so now I think I'm just going to go and have a walk around the village, probably get some funny looks, um, <laughs> and see how they are. I'm about halfway around the little, I think it's about two kilometre loop around the village. Uh, and yeah, they're feeling quite nice on the feet. These are from Zero Shoes. Um, I bought them with my own money. I'm certainly not popular enough that anybody sends me shoes to review, um, or sandals to review as the case may be. I got into the kind of barefoot minimalist thing years ago, and I've still got a pair of uh, Vibram Five Fingers somewhere that I used actually to walk across Morecambe Bay not too long ago. And I, I had a pair of classics that I really like to take on holiday uh, for walking on the beach, but I never really did much running in the barefoot shoes or minimalist uh, shoes or sandals but I was always intrigued by it. I read Born to Run and uh, I liked the idea that you know humans have been running for hundreds of thousands of years and we didn't have Nike shoes before all that so why not get back to nature and strengthen your feet and do things how they're supposed to be done. And then just recently I've been having some aches and pains. I've had Achilles um, aches for probably about 10 months now. Uh, picked something up in the run up to London Marathon last year. It might even be longer than 10 months. And uh, and then some heel pain. And I notice I've got kind of. You know, I I tend to do get little pains on my feet where shoes rub. Uh, and so I thought, you know, why why not pick up a pair of barefoot sandals, haraches as they're called. You know, if the uh, the Tarahumara can run in the toughest conditions in the world then, then maybe I should give them a try and see how they are but really I just wanted something open backed um, that I could uh, try out. So you really can feel everything underfoot it's only a very thin piece of rubber between you and the ground and I'm walking on so you can see roads here so I can feel when there's little stones uh, underfoot which isn't really bothering me. Um, it's quite a nice day here as you can see as well a little bit cloudy but hopefully the rain stays off um, and it's really nice to feel the kind of wind on the feet and toes. You can feel the front of the sandal just wiggling around a little bit and there's maybe some slight pressure around my ankle so I wonder whether I need to carry on just adjusting the fit but generally I feel very um, 
very stable on my foot. They're, you know, my, they're nicely locked to the bottom of my foot. Uh, and I guess hopefully the idea is that eventually you get the fit such that you don't even realize they're there. Now they are barefoot running sandals, so I am going to have a little go at a quick run, not too far, because uh, I don't want to do any injuries, but just to see what it feels like. Um, I used to do, as I say, a little bit of barefoot running, so I felt like that improved my running technique years ago. Uh, let's see if I remember how to do it. meters done in the zero sandals. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, I do spend a lot of time barefoot anyway. You know, not much time running barefoot. But it feels good to be outside and almost barefoot. It feels a bit like being on holiday. All right, so that was my first run slash walk in the Zero Genesis sandals. And first impressions are really good. Um, it was a really fun uh, walk and run. It's really nice feeling to have the wind against the top of your feet and your toes when you're running. Uh, I don't think I'd be taking them for a winter run. Um, and I also don't think I'll be trading in my uh, Nike Vaporflies anytime soon for my much faster, harder efforts. But it was really great to um, have a little run in them. I only did 400 meters and I think I would want to build up slowly before I did anything hard. I'm not going to be going and smashing out a local 5k park run in them because there just is no support at all in them. You can see you can just kind of roll them up. There's, there's nothing there. Um, but for that reason, it means that you do focus a lot more on your foot strike and your form. And I felt that I was thinking to myself a lot more about, okay, how is my foot actually connecting with the ground, um, which is always going to be a good thing. Um, they were 40 pounds uh, from uh, Zero Shoes and they come with a guarantee or a warranty for 5,000 miles, which is certainly a lot more than you're ever gonna get out of any other road shoe. Um, I think my Nike Vaporflies are starting to wear thin on the bottom after 100 kilometers. So um, that is seriously hard wearing. And I know people do run uh, marathons, trail marathons in these, and they just go and go and go. So uh, uh, definitely looking forward to getting some more use out of them. I've been playing around with the lacing system um, more uh, this afternoon and getting it a bit more of a, a tight fit. Uh, and that's definitely felt a lot better. Um, and they start to just sort of melt away and you just forget that you're wearing anything, which I guess uh, is the point. Um, in terms of sizing, if you go to the website, you can download uh, a template of the uh, sandal itself in your in the size you're thinking about with kind of a little circle where this cord will be so you can just print that off at real size and then put your foot on it and see is this the right size for me is, is my foot going to fit on here uh, precisely you can with the genesis um, you with some kitchen scissors apparently cut away any excess if there is any um, but for me the, the fit is pretty much spot on um, so I'm not going to be chopping anything away from this, but I am going to be getting a lot more wear out of them uh, definitely around the house and when I go out for walks uh, and I think I will do a little bit more running in them slowly, slowly. Um, but that is all for today. Um, I hope you've enjoyed and uh, have a lovely week. Peace, love and veggies. <laughs>